I'm not going anywhere today. I didn't even put on a bra, but I'm gonna curl my hair, which makes very much sense. Hey folks, and welcome back to the Petra Pan Apparel YouTube channel, a place where we celebrate women through fashion history. Today, we're gonna be doing uh, a little bit of hairstyling, a little bit of chatting. I did a vintage haul video a few months ago where I showed a vintage cap style hair dryer that I purchased, and I have since talked about it and told you how much I love it. So today, I'm gonna be trying pin curls for the first time and using my hair dryer to set them. So I'll show you how I use that one and just kind of update you on what's going on with life, business, all that. My hair goals in general are basically Lana Turner from this scene in the film Ziegfeld Girl. This is what I want my hair to look like all the day, all, all the time, every day. Oh. I haven't put any lipstick on. Oh, hold on. My favorite liquid lip, by the way, is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. Um, I find for me, this stays on better than anything else. But I know and I've heard that it's not cruelty free, so I'm looking for a better option. So if anybody has tips, let me know. My plan of action here is I started off thinking I would just do um, rolling down this way and then down the sides of my head um, from the side part, but from this photo, you can see that it's almost a little bit wavy, so it's coming a little bit forward and back and forward and back. So what I'm thinking actually now is that I'm going to do, I'm gonna do all standing pin curls because I'll be drying them with the cap, so I'm not gonna be sleeping on them. Um, otherwise you'd roll them and kind of press them against your head and pin them uh, in place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna section this top part of my head and I'm gonna roll these. I'm gonna do a row going forward, back, forward, back, forward. And then on the sides, I'm gonna alternate from going down, up, down, up. That has been my favorite way to do my hair, set my hair lately. I feel like it does do some really nice waves. Um, but the problem I've been having lately, and I've complained about this before, is that the rollers I have are in between the perfect sizes. So this one I have is too squishy. Um, and too, so it becomes too small and I get really, really wiry curls. And then this one is a little bit too big. And even when I squish it down in my hair, I can't get it to be quite small enough and these curls don't last. I'm hoping that with the pin curls, I will be able to choose the size. And I know the result is always a little bit different. It may not end up as curly as what's in that photo, but we're gonna see. We're gonna try it out. I will be using a combination of these single point clips. I know there are actual ones for pin curls. I don't have any, so this is what I'm gonna use. And then if I run out of these, I will switch over to just using bobby pins. Can I need something and I forgot what it is. Setting lotion. Setting lotion is what I need. I will be right back. There. I had to go mix up another bottle because I really love the Lotta Body Setting Lotion and living here in Australia, it's hard to get so I keep filling up little bottles to give to my friends because it's so good. So I had to go and make myself another little bottle. First of all, I'm going to section off. So usually my side part is about here. So I usually take my top section a little bit lower than my side part when I do it this way. And I'm actually, I think I'm gonna do the bottom sections first. And my hair is just slightly damp. Some sections are a little bit more damp than others, but I have been loving my hair dryer. Even if I set my hair pretty damp, uh, it will it will dry. I usually sleep. I usually do the dryer before bed and then sleep on it, and then it's all dry in the morning. So like I said, I haven't done pin curls before. So I'm interested to see how this is gonna turn out. So I know you can do like a one finger or two finger whip pen curl. So I'm just gonna see what that looks like. So two fingers. 
I have really, really straight hair and the ends always want to poke out. Oh. I'm also using metal pins and I'm a little bit worried when I use the hair dryer. <laughs> a little bit worried when I use the hair dryer that it's going to be really hot. Okay, so I'm finding that if I roll everything around my thumb and then roll up, that seems to work pretty well. And usually when I bobby pin, I usually bobby pin my rollers. I do it from the back. Like that. I thought, yeah, that looks a lot better. Okay. One little guy down. A whole bunch more to go. And I'm hoping that with the pin curls, it's even going to dry better than using foam rollers. So we'll see. I'm not going anywhere today. I didn't even put on a bra, but I'm gonna curl my hair, which makes very much sense. So I'm gonna roll that around my thumb. That seems to work quite well. Make sure I'm tucking everything in. trying to do the talking quick because I am not very good at talking quick. Um, but I have a few big updates. So if you don't know, I am in the process of starting a vintage reproduction clothing line. We are first going to be coming out with a stretchwear line. I think I mentioned in a previous video, or maybe I haven't, but I applied for a grant recently. The business is technically a social enterprise because we have uh, social employment goals. I'll talk more about that in a second. So to apply for this grant, I had to kind of have things looking like they were like as ready as possible. And so I hadn't had any, hadn't made up any prototypes in the actual kind of colorways because I'm still waiting on my fabric order to come in. So I quickly made up some prototypes thanks to some lovely friends of mine had a photo shoot and here are the first images of the actual Petra Pan apparel garments and I'm very excited about that. It was amazing to get this whole application together. It just really helped me to visualize where things were going and have everything written down on paper, have all the, you know, my plans written down. Yeah, so things are moving forward really quickly. I have been getting involved with a lot of local organizations that support startups and small businesses and women in business and that's been amazing. Another big thing is that I quit my part-time job because that job was causing me more stress than my actual business. So as of pretty much this week, I am full-time into Petra Pan Apparel. Another little exciting tidbit is the website's going to be going up soon because I have those photos. I will probably do another video talking just about the website. The website will have the online store but it will also have a blog and in the blog I'm going to be uh, I'm gonna be posting and sharing um, all of my vintage magazines that I have. I'm gonna catalog and go through and I'm gonna be actually listing PDF files of the magazines on the shop for free for anybody to download to use as reference material, but then also I'm going to be cataloging year by year and just taking photos or clippings from just the clothing in the magazine and do basically a year by year compilation. So all the magazines I have from 1939, I will put all the outfits on a blog post for the year 1939 just to see, have this kind of chronological table of outfits from all different magazines. So really excited about that. It's my Petra Pan Scans project, um, all to do with digitizing and cataloging resources. A lot of exciting things going on. Um, enjoy watching me do this. Hopefully it's going to be helpful and then I will show you uh, when I get my hair dryer out. We're going to sit and have a cozy little time and dry our hair and look at some magazines and it'll be a good time. These sections are probably too big that I'm taking. That's probably more of the size of a section I should be using, but like I said, I'm gonna be sitting under the hair dryer, so I'm hoping those other bigger sections are gonna work.
Okay, so that is done. So a couple of things. I can tell you for a fact that all these girls are not the same size. Now you should never judge a hairstyling technique until you've done it at least three times. It took me a long time to be able to confidently set my hair in rollers or anything like that. So it's gonna take a few tries, but I'm gonna go set up my hair dryer and let these babies dry. Alrighty, so I've moved into the living room. I am here at my coffee table. I have my hair dryer here and I have a stack of magazines and books and a few things here that I want to go through. Here is how I used my vintage hair dryer. So it comes in its adorable little case, which opens up to reveal the cap. So the cap I have is a bit unusual. I talked about it in the last video. It's got this hard ring of plastic around it that keeps it from collapsing. I think I like it. I haven't tried it the other way with just a plastic cap, but um, yeah. So the nozzle hooks into the cap. So I usually start just by hooking on the cap and then power cord just like normal. So I will Plug this into the wall, over here. And now I can plot the actual like electronic bit. Air dryer has new temperature settings. And I usually start with high temperature and then I either work it down or if I'm going to sleep I will just do it on high for a while and then take it off because it's gonna cool down so I'm sleeping and I'm not gonna be taking it down anytime soon so the trickiest part of doing this usually is getting the cap over the curls and not um, having the tube pulled down too heavy on the curls so one thing I have found that I can do is if I am in bed or I'm on the couch, what I'll do is I'll put the tube like behind me, position it behind me, and then have it between me and the couch, and then I lean on it, and then it kind of holds this in place. So, um, sorry, my dog's behind the camera and he's chewing something. And also, a oh, Duke, what is that? It's a tissue. Can see him in the reflection of the window. Anyway, so uh, what I'm worried about with these pin curls is that putting this on is going to ruin them and pull them out. So here goes nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. And once I turn it on, you probably won't really be able to hear me, but I'm just gonna be kind of going through my magazines here, picking out which ones I want to scan, kind of putting them in order of when I want to scan them. There we go. So that's all the way on, and you can see if I don't prop it up or anything, like that's pulling and that's sitting pretty much flat on the top of my head. So I feel like in order to dry everything properly, you kind of have to have space. One thing I will do, this actually has a drawstring on top, um, and it has a little like hole here. So I'll sometimes just hold this or pull it up. I've often wondered if I could find a way to like hook this onto something. Um, but anyway, it's not very loud, and what I usually do is tuck this behind my ears so my ears also don't get too hot, and so I can listen if we're watching TV or something. Um, yeah, so this really helps my self-consciousness with my big ears, but, you know, it's a look. It's grandma chic, and I'm here for it. So I'm going to turn this on up to high. So you can hear, it's kind of loud, it's not that bad, um, yeah, so sitting on top, but if I lean, ah, oh, there we go, so I can lean against the couch here, and now it's sitting up.
I've probably had this on for at least 40 minutes, I think. Um, quite a while. And I just felt a lot of the curls are starting to feel really dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Now, I just had it on the hot setting, so I'm, they're gonna need a while to cool down. It's raining, it's very, very nice and rainy today. So I'm gonna let these dry for a while and then I will show you what happens when I take them out. Hello, I am back. Um, it's actually quite a bit later in the day. I ended up leaving these in for a pretty long time because I got distracted, I was working on bunch of things so now I'm gonna take the pins out and brush it out and see see what's happened So overall, I am really pleased with the style. It's not what I would usually do, and it has turned out in a little bit more of a page boy style, and I think it would have been better if I had just set them rolling down rather than the alternating pattern. I think if I did it again, I would, or when I do it again, I'll set it that way. The hair dryer really helped it. Actually, everything was completely dry when I brushed it out. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you have found it helpful and stay tuned because a lot of new things are going to be happening for the business so keep an eye out on the Petra Pan Apparel Instagram as well as here on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you like this kind of content and I hope we'll see you next time in our next video. Bye!